Vital signs in the newborn are quite different than those in adults and older children. This video will be brief and the source of the data presented will be located at the top of the screen. Body temperature in the newborn is usually measured under the axilla, with a normal range between 36.5 and 37.5 degrees Celsius in an open crib. Some texts, however, such as Nelson texts for Pediatrics and Gomella's Neonatology, list an axillary temperature of 37.4 degrees Celsius as the upper limit of normal. The respiratory rate is much higher in newborns than in adults and older children. In the awake and calm newborn, the 5th percentile for respiratory rate is 35, while the 95th percentile is 60. It should be measured by counting the number of breaths taken across one whole minute, that is, for a full 60 seconds. The heart rate is also much higher than in adults and older children. In the awake and calm newborn, the 2nd percentile for heart rate is a little higher than 100 beats per minute, while the 98th percentile is around 160. The heart rate may increase above this upper limit with activity or while crying, and fall below the lower limit while sleeping. When necessary, blood pressure can be measured in the newborn by using a neonatal sized blood pressure cuff. The pediatric textbook, Current Diagnosis and Treatment Pediatrics, provides a very general range of systolic blood pressure on day one of life, between 50 and 70 mm mercury. Keep in mind that blood pressure correlates with postmenstrual age, amongst other factors, and that blood pressure normally rises in the first week of life. Reference tables are available that provide an extensive set of values based on postmenstrual age for systolic, diastolic, and mean arterial blood pressures on the first postnatal day and beyond. Beyond the immediate postnatal period, the arterial oxygen saturation should be 95% or greater in either the right foot or hand, and the difference between the right hand and foot should be 3% or less.